Shalom. I don't give all unequal praise to Yahweh by Shem, by Shem, by Shem, by Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, teaching the truth and sincerity, salutation to the hopeful elect that spread on the four corners of the earth. So the title of this lesson would be, it's a video idea I got from watching Apostle Gabar um, about his seven, the seven facts um, that people didn't know about our Lord. Um, so it's, it's a foreign daily edification channel. This is where I got this um, title or this video idea from. Um, so uh, I'm just doing. I'm doing a. You know, he off. He you know say that we can. You know, brothers. You know, if they you know, need a video idea, you know, or something, you know, to go on, uh, we can use that. That these seven facts that he had. You know was inspired to him, you know, from the Holy Spirit. All right. So my so the one I chose was Yahweh Shai. The people don't know that Yahweh Shai is the austere man, right? And I'm gonna get that before I go into the lesson, I'm gonna get that word austere. Um if I can find it here. It's like I got a lot of tabs open. I'm still working on that um on that lesson on the on that series the the um breaking down that um a white man's heaven a white man's hell series so those are, those those are tips the tabs that are open so like yeah so austere and austere what does the word austere mean in etymology right the word austere come from the early 14th century a person manners so a person a person's manner, harsh, severe, you no know, fears, strict, severe, harsh, cruel, um, severe, rigid. You know, got some words there. You know, harshness, um, severe, self discipline, uh, severe, self discipline, right. You know, Yahweh Shah, he was a self-disciplined person. He was a, you know, he's a self-disciplined person. You know, when you go on a 40-day fast, you have to be self-disciplined, right? You have to be self-disciplined. Severe simplicity, absent of adornment or luxuries, right? You know, so Yahweh Shah, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't trying to be rich, right? He wasn't trying to, you know, make himself, you know, a king, you know, when he, you know, was amongst the people of Israel. You know, he wasn't trying to make himself a, himself a queen, king, you know, even though he could have, but he was, that wasn't his, um, you know, that wasn't his purpose. His purpose was to be a sacrifice for the nation of Israel. So I got, so I'm going to bring out Luke chapter 2. You no, know, verse forty-seven. Now, this is Yahweh Shah when he was a at a young age, right? Um, so this is Luke chapter two, verse forty-seven. Verse um, it's like verse forty-eight. Uh, and when they saw him, they are, were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why that? Why has thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sor sorrowing. So that means that his mother. Uh, Mary and Joseph, which, you know, they, you know, they were afraid because, you know, the Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he went, you know, he got lost, you know, he will, you know, to them, you know, he was lost, you know, because they didn't know where he was, you know, they, you know, he could have been killed, he could have been, you know, sold into slavery, you know, a lot of things that could happen to him, so that's why they, that's why it said, um, behold, that father and I have saw the sorry because they were looking, they were looking very hard. You know, they probably asking people, you know, they, they were probably asking everyone where, where his, um, you know, where their, where Yahweh Shah was. Um, 49 verse, and he said unto them, how is that, is it, is it that ye sought me? So that this is Yahweh Shah speaking, all right? Um. Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? 
Right. So Yahweh Shah, he straight up told his mother and his father at a young age that he must be about his father's business. You know, that's, you know, that's basically how Yahweh Shah was. You know, he he didn't care. He didn't sugarcoat it. He didn't care about, you know, telling it how it is. You know, he told his mother and his father that he, he is about Yahweh, about his own business. He's about his father, father business. And this is not speaking about Joseph, his carnal father. This is speaking about the heavenly father, Yahweh. You know, he had he he is about his he is about Yahweh by Hashem. He was about he was about Yahweh by Hashem by Hashem business, right? Um so this is you know, this is you know, this is an example. You know, Yahweh Shah, he wasn't you know, he wasn't with the, you know, phony, you know, he wasn't he was he wasn't, you know, Clinging onto his parents, you know, he wasn't. He was, you know, he, when he realized his purpose was, you know, he went and go did his purpose. Or um, so I'm gonna move from here to Luke um, ten seventeen. Luke chapter ten verse seventeen. Um, and the reads, and the 17 return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us to thy name, right? So, you no, know, the devils are subjected through to you know the man of the Lord through the name, through the through the name, through your how by shall shall name, sorry. So, that's another example. The, the names are powerful, right? You know. The names are even powerful. Nineteen verse: Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing should be by any means hurt you. Right. So I mentioned that because it's showing how you know the names, the name, the the heavenly Father and His Son names are. Powerful, right? They're very powerful, you know. They're, you know. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 For the word of the Messiah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right? Now that's a, you know. The words, you know, the words is coming from the Heavenly Father, and that's an example of the Heavenly Father being austere, right? You know, when you, when you, if you're a, a if you a austere person, you know, what you speak is going to be very powerful, right? It's going to be, you know, the words, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't even compare, you know, about, you couldn't, you know, you probably, you couldn't, you know, Yahweh Shai, he said that his his eyes are you no. Know, his eyes are ten times brighter than so you can't even stand in the presence of Yahweh, right? You know. So his words are very, you know, they're very powerful, right? They're very, you know. They're very. Um harsh right there his words are very power, powerful right you know so Luke so this so this is Luke chapter 19 verse 13 and he called his ten servants and Deliver them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come, right? So this was when the you no know, servant they got, you know, the different you know, ability, the different pounds, you know, they were given different um talents. You basically different, you know, they were given given different, you know, um the words, you know, they were given they were given the words, you know, and different um things to, you know, do the word, right? Let um, me jump from here to the 15th verse. And it came to pass that when he was returned, so when, you know, the, 
because it's a parable. Um, and it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him. So those are servants that did the work, right? That 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 used their money, you know, to do the work, right? The the, the money they they received, which represents the word, right? You know, um, and the talent they received to do the word, right? And yeah, and they were called, you know, they were called to uh, be, they were called to receive the kingdom along with Yahweh Shah, to whom he had given the money, right? So the money represents the word that he might know how much every man had gained by trading, right? By gain, by training, meaning by, you know, we are fisher, we are fishermen, right? So, you know, when we are, you know, this word is like a, it's like a rod, like a, it's like bait, you know? So when we, you know, and the scripture also, also speaks about uh, free to receive, free given, right? So that's going back to what? Uh, this word, right? So when we are speaking, you know, we are gaining, you know, the more people uh, we are, the, the elect would, you know, cling on to that bait and they will become, you know, they will heed to their, you know, heed to the word, right? So he, so that he might know how much every man had gained by trading, right? 16 verse then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound has gained 10 pounds, right? So he was able to, you know, he he was able to gain more, you know, more people, you know, he was able to, he was, you know, his, what he had, he turned it into 10 pounds, you know, what he had, turned he turned it into 10 pounds. So the people, so that, so the people, you know, which represent what? Um, which represent the his him the people he gained, right? The you know, the the word, you know, he used the word and he was able to gain, you know, he was able to increase. Um, uh, seventeen verse, and he said unto him, Well thou well well thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, how thou authority over ten cities, right? And the second came saying, Lord, thou pound has gained five pounds. So he was giving, you know, he was giving the same amount of pound. Um, he was giving, you know, he was giving the pound he had, you know, the talent she had, he gained five pounds, right? You know? And he said, likewise to be, to him, be thou also over five cities, right? So, so this, so you no, know, some of, some of, so this, some of, you know, some of us, we are giving, you know, we're not, we are, we are being equipped, you know, with we are be, uh, being equipped with sufficient uh, amount of things to do the work with. You now we have the word, and we have, you know, whatever we have to do the work with, and our duty is to, you know, be fishers of men to bring in more fishes, right? Bring in more people, you know, bring in the elects, right? Um, then we will get a reward uh, when that was our return. Twenty verse and another came saying, "Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin." Right. So a person, you know, this servant, he was given you no know, money. You no, know, he was given the word. You no, know, he was given his um his ability, you know, giving the things for him to do the work. And he kept the head, you know, he kept the word held it hid in a napkin. So we're gonna see what Yahweh Shah did. Twenty one verse, for I fear thee because thou art an austere man. Right. So here here comes that word austere, right? He's an austere man. So you no, know, he was he was scared to do the work, right? He was scared to do the work. And you know, and of course you see about, you know, Fear no, it's better to fear. Um, it's better to fear y'all. Shot than fear what man might do to you, right? It's better to fear him, him who can kill the body, but it's better to fear him that can kill the body. So I can, I'm, I'm about to get it. I, I know I'm gonna go up. Um, like a paraphrase. I'm trying to paraphrase, but 
I'm trying to read this as well. So austere, which means of a of mind and manners. So a mind and manner, hearts rough and rigid. Right, Yahweh Shah, he was a harsh, he's a harsh version, you know, because Yahweh Shah come in the, you know, any come in the spirit of the Heavenly Father. So, so I'm let me get that. Um, Matthew 10 and 28, because this is going to go along right along with it, with the, um, with the lesson. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28, and it reads, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So, um, you know, we are to fear Yahweh Shah, you know, because this person, you know, this person, he was he was scared to do, do the work, right? He was scared to complain. He was scared to use his talents. You know, he was scared to spend his money. You know, he was scared to, and, you know, when Yahweh Shah returned, you know, he said that he feared Yahweh Shah because he's an austere man, right? All right, and it's scriptures, you know, I just read it, you know, it's better to fear, you know, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell, right? All right, so he was, you know, he was, you no, know, he wasn't afraid of the the what my, man might do. Thou takest up that thou layest layest not down, and reapest that 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 thou did didst not so. So let me see again NLT. I was afraid because you are a hard man to deal with, taking what isn't yours and harvesting crops you didn't plant right. NLT. You know, this, you know, this servant, you know, he was, you know, he was, he got money, but he didn't, you know, he, we are, we are, we are, you know, we are, you know, we are plowing, right? He didn't, you know, he didn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't reap anything, right? He didn't, I'm going to read out 22 verse, and he says unto him, out of thy own mouth would I judge judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou know, knewest that I was an austere man, taken up that I lay not down, and reaping that I did not sow. All right, that was my body. Let's see. You wicked servant, the king roared. Your own words condemn you. If you knew that I'm in a hard man who takes what is it mine the Harvard Cross I didn't pass. So he's no he he no he didn't even you know he hid his talent. He hid the word, you know, he didn't he didn't proclaim the word. He didn't proclaim the kingdom, right? He hid it, right? So Yahweh Shah, he's gonna judge this wicked server, right? All right, so Yahweh Shah, you know, he wasn't, you know, he was, he was, he, you know, that showing his power, you know, that showing, you know, this is why, you know, we have, we can't, we can't fear what man might do. We can, we had to, you know, if we know that Yahweh Shah is a austere man, you know, because they, you know, they paint, you know, Christianity, they paint, you know, the so-called, you know, son and have a father as, is, you know. He gonna have mercy on everyone, you know. He go, he's not gonna, you know, he's not he not a person that, you know, they forget the true power and the true characteristics, you know, of our Lord and yet of our you know of the heavenly of the heavenly Son and the heavenly Father, right? They forget, you know, the true power, you know, they're they're, you know, you know they're not they're not. You know, Christianity, you know, I, I can go on and on about Christianity. You know, you said, you know, they paint the paint the Heavenly Father and Son as, you know, just, you know, people, you know, just 
sweet people, sweet people, you know, with no, with, 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 with just a nice attitude, you know, you know, and just, you know, smile everywhere, you know, is, you know, I can go on and on about Christianity, you know. You said, you said in temples, you said, you know, this is how our Lord, you know, is, you know, this is how Lord, you know, this, what we believe in the Holy Spirit, how our Lord is like, you know, he, you know, he's a austere person. He has, you know, um, bright red eyes, rock, red eyes, right? So, So Luke chapter 19, I'm going down to the fourth field verse. So there's another example of Yahweh Shah, the austere person. Um, and he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein and them that brought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it, ye have made it a den of thieves. All right. So Yahweh Shah, you know, he went into that temple where they were selling, you know, different you know how they doing right now they're making the, the you know they're making this truth a truth of merchandise you know they trying to they buy they're they they are receiving the truth but they're buying it buying it you know they're selling it right you know for money right so that's how they were doing back in in ancient times you know they were selling you know it probably it probably was a pass over right because you know when they when it's passed over you know um people come to jerusalem right and, you know, they probably you know people come there, you know, and they know those those people that be in Jerusalem, they probably they know that they're gonna be some people coming, right, to the temple, right? So they were selling, you know, um all types of things, you know, you know specifically explaining in this um uh, chapter, but in this verse verse, but you know, they were selling, you know, just stuff, you know. In the temple, and Yahweh Shah, he went in there and returned and flipped the tables over, over right. So that's showing his what, his rigid attitude, right? His harshness. Matthew chapter twelve, verse forty-six. Reads, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brother stood without desiring to speak with him. So Yahweh Shah, he was speaking um, with his disciples, and his mothers and brothers were trying to were trying to get in touch with Yahweh Shah. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother. So I, so, behold, thy mother and thy brother stood without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them, him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brother? Right? Just imagine, you know, Yahweh Shah telling, you know, that person, you know, he didn't he didn't say it in a nice he probably he probably you no, know, he probably just said it in a you know in a nonchalant he probably said it in a rigid manner. He probably you no, know, he probably didn't yell at them. You no, know, he probably just you know, came off as you no know, blunt. You no, know, he blunt was it, you know. Um but he answered and said unto him that who that told him, you know, who is my mother and who are my, my brothers? You know, you have to use imagery. You know, it's all about imagery. You know, you have to imagine what Yahweh Shah would have said, you know, and how he would have said it. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my and my brethren. For whosoever should do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and, and sister and mother, right? So again, you know, they're showing, you know, you know, Yahweh Shah, you know, he, you know, this is why, you know, people was mad at Yahweh Shah because he was speaking with, you know, he was being friends with the, you know, people who stole, you know, he had been friends with publicans, you know, Yahweh Shah, he didn't care about pleasing, you know, other the man, you know, he didn't care about pleasing, you know, you know, he didn't care about bowing down to man, he didn't care about pleasing the man, you know. He didn't care about that, you know. He came to do his father's will, you know. Matthew 
Isaiah 53 and 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He has no form nor commonness. And when he will see, when we shall see him, there is some beauty that we should desire him. So who is this referring to? This is referring to Yahweh Shah. Isaiah 53 and 2. That my servant grew up in the Lord's presence, like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beauty for a majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him, right? Third verse, he is despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, despised and we esteemed him not. Well, I mean, whatever esteem me, you know, he, they didn't admire, they didn't show him, you know, when you always child, when he was getting, you know, whelped, when he was getting, you know, spit on, you know, when he was going through his, you know, time of trouble, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't admired, he wasn't being admired, he wasn't being respected, right? You know, because of what? You always child, he didn't come being a, you know, as the so-called white Jesus, you know, he didn't come, you know, he didn't come being as a calm, loving, you know, he came, he came to do his father's will. You know, he came to be that sacrificial lamb. He came to be, you know, a, he came to be, you know, all spirit. You know, he came in the, like I say, in the, in the, like, he came in the presence, he came in the spirit of the heavenly father, you know, you know, he came, you know, to be, he didn't come to please man, you know, he didn't um, come to, you know, to um, get riches, you know, or to set up his kingdom, right? And this is why some of the Jews didn't didn't like um, Yahweh Shai, you know, they, which is why some of the Jews didn't believe that Yahweh Shai was a real Messiah because they, they expected him to come back and set up the kingdom of heaven, you know, in the, in the, in Israel, right? On the earth, right? At that time, you know, they they expected Yahweh Shah to do that, right? Um, so Yahweh Shah, you know, that that's why when that's one reason why they rejected Yahweh Shah. Um and they also rejected Yahweh Shah because he was a carpenter, right? His father was a carpenter and they knew his father and their mother, and they didn't expect, you know, a person, you know, from Nazareth, Nazareth to, you know, come to come, you know, they didn't expect a, you know, a person, you know, because they knew Joseph and Mary, you know, they didn't expect a, they didn't expect them to birth a, you know, they knew his brother too. And his, his brothers, you know, um, wasn't, you know, wasn't um, set up to be, you know, they are prophets, you know, they are like you. You know, they wasn't set up to be the king over Israel. You no, know, they wasn't set up to be the king. King, um, you know, they wasn't set up to be the sacrificial lamb. You know, they wasn't set up to go through that trouble Yahweh Shah went, right? But they are, you know, two of them are prophets. Uh, but, you know, it just shows how Yahweh Shah, you know, he came, he didn't come to please other man. No, he came, he didn't come, you know, this is why, you know, people, people don't read these scriptures, you know, and they should read it, you know, they read that, they read that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is a merciful, mercy, you know, he, you know, in which he is, right, he is, and he's such anger, right? He also such anger, I'm gonna get that too. You know, which shows Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, he get anger, you know, he just social anger, right? Nahum chapter 1 verse 2, the Mosai is jealous and the Lord Yahweh revenges, right? The Lord, the Lord Yahweh revenges and is furious, right? So that, again, you know, his, you know Yahweh, just imagine when Yahweh shall return, he's going to revenge his enemies. You know, he's going to get revenge on his enemies, right? You know, Yahweh shall, he's he returning as a lion. You know, he's returning to destroy, you know, 
Yahweh Shai, you know, he's a you know, Yahweh Shai coming in the spirit of the Heavenly Father. He's a man of war. Yahweh is a man of war. You know, he has angels, you know, he has chariots, you know. The Lord Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserves wrath for his enemies. Third verse, the Lord Yahweh is slow to anger. Does that does that does that does that mean that he doesn't get anger? No, he's just slow to anger, right? He is very patient, you know. And great in power, and would not all to quit the wicked, right? The Lord Yahweh has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds or the dust of his feet. So and this is why some of these people, you know, they don't they don't understand the reason why they think all Yahweh Shah by Shah is a it's just a they paint Yahweh paint him as a um lovely a, a just a sweet you know person a you know just a you know because they don't understand these scriptures you know they don't understand the you know that when they when they see earthquakes happening when they see you know hurricane when they see all these different storms um these different you know tsunamis they, when they see these different things happening they don't you know they don't they don't they don't give. They don't give. You know, they don't mention the names of the the of the heavenly father, heavenly father and son. They don't say it is because of the heavenly father and the son. You know, they because they don't know the the power. You know, they they don't think that Yahweh Shah and the heavenly father would do something like this, right? You know, they don't think that Yahweh Shah shall bring judgment. You know, you know, in the, in scriptures, the scriptures, the scriptures sees about that Yahweh Shah he's no, he killed it. He killed in the store. You know. All right. So the Lord, yeah, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh has His way in the whirlwind and the storm and the clouds or the dust of His feet. Right. Isaiah forty-five and seven. And the read, I form the light. Who's the I referring to? Yahweh. Now, by Shem Yahweh Shah, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. Um, so, this, you no know, cut that, that Yahweh Shah is a, just a nice, you know, just a, you know, sweet, you know, with no, you know, just a you know, just a person you know that is not harsh. You know, he's a you know, he controls both sides. You know, the devils are subjected to Yahweh Shah. You know, so it shows how you know Yahweh Shah is an austere man. You know, he forms the light and create darkness. You know, I make he he make peace and create evil. You know, I, the Lord, do all these things. All right, so, you know, Yahweh Shah, he didn't care, you know, he didn't care about his, how his parents or, or how, how his brethren felt, you know. He didn't care how the, how other people thought about him, you know. He came to do his fault as well, you know. He cussed the wicked, he cussed the scribes and Pharisees out, you know, they, you know, they, you know, he didn't, you know, he came as a rigid person. He was a rigid, he was harsh, you know. So I'm going to close out here. I hope this lesson was edifying. I'll give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shabbat, Kadash. Till the next time, I will say Shalom.